stole my baby. And I can't stand it, so I'm chasing them down. Hey! <coughs> Goober, did Daddy take you outside? <coughs> we'll get in the sun. Come on! Ryan, what are you doing with my baby out here? Teaching him that he's a goat. But but he's a baby. Uh no. There's goats and then there's babies. He's a goat. Um, he sure looks like a baby to me. Sounds like one too. Come on, buddy. Well, you can at least carry him down there, can't you? Jeez, he's just a little baby. He's got more legs than I do. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby. What do you think? What does Ruby think? Who cares what Sweet Pea and Autumn think? Well, I guess if we try to get him to hang out in there with them, they have to be friends too. Oh. Oh. She might think that he's familiar smelling because of Shy. Yeah. She did a happy mom wink. We'll see. Back up, Autumn. Autumn always tries to get out because she used to be able to get out when we would open up the door. Where's the baby? Oh, right there. They knocked their water over. Bad goats. Well, not bad, but... Oh, he doesn't know what to think. He says, Daddy is my daddy. <laughs> Autumn says, ah, uh, I don't know. Him so little. Him so little. He is so little. Yeah. I'll just say hello a little bit and see how the hello goes. And we'll take it from there. If we could get these, these ones to be your friend, then you could have a snuggle buddy with Tabitha. You and Tabitha could snuggle at night, and then you could live out here now. If we have to bring you bottles still, that's fine too. Yeah, Ruby, we would like you to accept that baby. She's thinking about it. Ruby has nursed other Doe's kids in the past. So, have you met the baby yet? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. The newborn is way bigger than, is Ruby pushing him away or just sniffing him? I can't tell. She was gentle, but either way, we might get this to be a harmonious friendship at the very least. Yay, that would be cool. We'll see how it goes. We will very closely monitor because he could get hurt if he got rammed. He's so tiny. Yeah. She was eight pounds when she was born. And he was four and a half pounds, if that. And he's just a little guy. Good job, Ruby. She's very interested in him. She's probably wondering where he came from. <laughs> I didn't birth that, did I? Doesn't smell like me. Smells different. Smells like a cow. <laughs> He's on cow milk. Because we haven't we didn't have goat milk. And cow milk is the next best thing. She's Look at the size. She's, She's more robust. That is funny. They have such different sizes. Let's just rub, rub them all over each other so they get the smell. They That's smell not them. a bad idea. Then Take some of her poop and put it on his bum. Yeah, I'll just pick up bunches of poop. And... <laughs> uh, how about I do this? I just switch hands constantly. <laughs> He's trying to take advantage of the fact that she's distracted feeding and he went over to the udder a couple of times. You can just barely see his little legs. There he is. Oh, 
he is so silly. You gonna try to pretend to eat like them? Be careful getting too close to those horns, buddy. Autumn's horns make me extremely nervous. I don't like those being around my baby or any of my goats for that matter. It's just dangerous even when they're not trying to be. A little bit forced here, but he is okay with holding on to a teat as long as I hold on to the dough. She doesn't want him to nurse, but we're just seeing if he has that ability to. Oh, he does. Mm. Yeah. We thought he would have a pretty good strong reflex for sucking because he sucks on everything in the house. Okay, so that was just a little test. <laughs> She's gently nudging him away. She's not being a total meanie to him. She nudges him away for sure. But it's not like a really mean hard shove. It's like a, leave me alone. Stop it. Get away. You know? So it's it's not awful, but it's not perfect. But this is the first time she's ever seen this dude. So I'd say that's an okay introduction for the first time. Um, not all out violent or anything. <laughs> that's good. And we'll just keep trying these little introductions every day. And hopefully get to the point where he can sleep in the barn with... Ruby and her baby. All right. So Ryan decided that he wanted this feeding to be completely from Ruby, which is a great idea because the smell of Ruby's milk will come out in his urine and his poop so that later today when we bring him down here again to visit again, um, she will smell herself on him, increasing the chances of a nice bond taking place. And Ruby has been a nurse for goats in the past, and it's always been done on the milk stand, so she's okay with this. She's, she doesn't even notice, like she's not kicking, she's not upset about it. So this is good. Um, we're just gonna let him get a good drink in, and hopefully that smell will move throughout his whole body, and he seems to be doing a pretty good job with it. <laughs> what do you think, Ryan? I'd say so. He likes it. It is so hard to put my trust in other people when it comes to my animals. But Ryan convinced me that the little bottle baby buckling would be fine being left with Ruby and Tabitha. And that Ruby would not hurt him. And it sounds like that's worked. I had to go into town for a few hours. And I came back and... He said they've been fine. He hasn't been crying. She hasn't been hurting him. They're not friendly, but they're getting used to each other. And that's the important part if we want to transition him to be an outside goat easier than it was with Autumn, who spent four months inside, <laughs> or longer than four months. So I am coming down here to the barn now. I just got home. All I did was switch into my rubber boots and come on down to check on my baby. Looks like daddy's taking care of business. So this is his second nursing with her? Yeah. So if we can at least do this more times than not, his smell will be a lot more like her smell and she may end up being able to put up with him a little better. So that's good. Glad to see he's doing well. What is it, Tabitha? Where'd your mama go? That other baby stole your mama. Hey, Tabitha. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. How are, how are you? <laughs> mama will be back in just a minute. Ryan just notified me that Fern has a stream of goo presenting like she's in labor. So I'm headed out here to check my three that are due today or yesterday and check them out. Hello Fern. Oh yeah. We've got, it's not amber colored. That looks more like the mucus plug. So not too urgent on uh, getting her in the stall or anything. She's acting normal. So we'll just keep a close eye for the rest of the 
afternoon. And flower looks about the same. I don't see the mucus plug or anything, but she's seems pretty normal. Her ligaments are a little bit softer, but they're still there. Time is the one I'm thinking is gonna go first, but you really never know with any birthing situation, but especially with coats. There's time, looking pretty normal. If I could get in there and feel her ligaments, if she'll let me. She's like, leave me alone. I feel the ligaments. Yep, they're still there. They're not super tight, but they're not soft. Don't want to sleep tonight at all. Just want to watch them stars fall But you who don't want to try to make up dreams Just to be seen I want to lay here beside you Oh quiet Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know it's where we go I grow wings and tell her goodbye oh, It's not what we see It's what we choose to be Some flowers, high grass and beer walk in to the barn with my camera on in the dark all stealth mode uh, not wanting to disturb the goats and see you know exactly what's going on um, with Mr. Goober and it's adorable I walk up and I see you know Ruby and Tabitha and Goober snuggled up and it's quiet and peaceful well uh, Ruby spots me and she stands up and she just looks dead at me, um, just standing there. And I still saw the two babies snuggling together. So I turned off my camera on my phone and I, uh, I turned off my camera. And then I got on Marco Polo because I wanted to show Rose because it was so adorable. So I'm filming and I can tell she, it says she's watching the Marco Polo. Um, and it's still, it's pretty adorable. Well, Ruby goes over to Goober and then she goes down to sniff him and she gives him a good sniff and then all of a sudden she decides she wants to bite him and pick him up and toss him out of the way. So, I, I don't know if that would have lasted all night or, or what. But it was pretty uh, good seeing them all snuggle. But in the end, decided uh, I needed to go in and grab Goober. So I went in and I had Goober nurse one, one more really good time off of Ruby. I had to hold her collar, but you see she uh, lets him do it uh, just fine. And I'm going to take him back up to the house for the night. So baby steps. We will repeat this process probably again uh, the next couple days, maybe three days or so, and uh, go from there. But the, the end goal is to have him outside uh, with the other goats. I'm going to take Mr. Goober in the house now. Good night, Wholesome Roots. Good night, Wholesome Roots. <laughs>